So if you are a woman that is dealing with an annoying bladder problem, maybe you're running to the bathroom all the time, you're having accidents, leaks, and you were told by your doctor that maybe you need a surgery or you should go on a certain medication or get this gadget and this is gonna help you. But a lot of women don't know about pelvic floor therapy and how this holistic solution and working with someone that's a specialist in treating the muscles around the pelvic floor can really be life-changing. Now, maybe you are dealing with this bladder problem and you've had it for a while, or it's new in your perimenopause to menopausal stage and you didn't have it before. Well, I want to talk today about what is pelvic floor therapy, how it's not just about doing Kegel exercises, and what you can do to actually solve your bladder problem in a more holistic manner. My name is Dr. Dawn Andalone. I am a pelvic floor specialist, a women's health physical therapist that has treated thousands of women for pelvic related conditions. And the first thing I want to mention, if you are having a bladder problem with leaking or urgency frequency, you wanna make sure that you're at least screened by your doctor, that no other red flags are going on with other testing that might be needed or something else that might be causing it. But if you were given a medication or told maybe you need to have some other device given to you, something that is called the Emsula chair, where you sit down and it gives you stimulation to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles, all these things that doctors tell you to do instead of telling you to go see a pelvic floor therapist, it really is beneficial to find out what other options you may have, especially when we get results with women over the span of their lifetime and when we help them with their bladder problem and help them control the muscles around their core and their pelvis, then this problem can be gone for good. It is possible to live without it. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what that means, how it's not just about doing Kegel exercises and what actually is entailed in seeing a pelvic floor therapist. Well, you have muscles around your pelvis, as you see in red here on my pelvic model. And these muscles in red, they're like a basket here at the bottom. And this makes up the bottom part of what is your core. And your bladder, your uterus, your rectum, they all sit within there. These pelvic floor muscles help create stability and control around your pelvis when you're being active. It's also important for sexual function, bowel and bladder function, and it's important to address these muscles. Now, physical therapists aren't normally taught this in school on how to treat the pelvic floor. You have to go above and beyond in further continuing education and specialty training after becoming a physical therapist. So it's important to consult with someone that is truly a pelvic floor specialist. So how actually do we work with the pelvic floor instead of just training you to do squeezes and Kegels? Well, there are a lot of strategies, but the first off is trying to figure out what your baseline is. We want to know what those muscles are capable of by doing a thorough assessment. So if you have seen someone and they were a therapist and they did not do an internal assessment, uh, with a glove finger through the vaginal wall to test the muscles, then you truly don't have the standard of care of knowing how to treat your bladder problem the best way. There are a lot of therapists that will just put electrodes externally, or they may call it biofeedback or just work on the muscles externally. But truly, if you have an internal assessment done by a pelvic floor specialist, they are gonna know how to address this problem even faster and more effectively. So I like to point that out because there is a lot out there where people say they're pelvic floor therapists and they don't actually, aren't trained to do an internal assessment. So that is the first thing. And second of all, it is not as intimidating as a lot of women think. In our location here in San Diego, we have a women's wellness center. So you're not walking into a big gym-like environment. You're in a private room. There's other women in the place and you're 
feeling like it's more of a spa-like environment. That's how it should be. It should make you feel comfortable. Also, it's not as invasive as going to the gynecologist. You are in a room, you undress from the waist down and you cover yourself with a sheet and we make the experience very comfortable and also not in a, any sort of painful way. Now, if you are very uncomfortable with having an internal assessment, then we talk about what other ways that we can address those muscles and do that. But an internal assessment should be offered to you for the best, getting the best baseline of what those muscles are capable of. Now, your bladder, it is controlled also by signals to your brain as well as the muscles. So a thorough treatment and assessment done by a pelvic floor therapist, we are gonna look at your daily habits and give you a lot of education about things you may not realize could be making your bladder problem worse. Also, what you're eating and drinking could also be impacting how much you are running to the bathroom and getting that signal to your brain, telling your brain it's time to go. So not only is it a physical issue, but we are doing some neuromuscular re-education, we call it, that's brain training and training your bladder. The other thing is a lot of people are stimulated by triggers, meaning if you pull into your driveway, you turn your key in the door, you walk past a waterfall, those things can all be triggers to also tell your brain uh, connecting to your bladder that it's time to go or maybe you start leaking when that happens. So we work a lot with strategies and little tricks to help you. And it's not always about just strengthening the muscles. I think that's a big misconception that when women are using that Emsula chair, if you've ever heard of that, that's giving a lot of extra stimulation to the pelvic floor muscles and causing them to contract, contract. But in some cases, women do not need to do Kegel exercises. And we find that their muscles are actually have a lot of tone, tension and shortening. And with a shortened and tight muscle, you don't want to over strengthen it. You want to work on letting it go and getting it back to its normal state of working properly so it can actually support and work the way that it should. So we find out when we do an assessment with some breathing strategies, with a contraction, with a relaxation, and also when you cough, what is happening to your pelvic floor? Are you losing control? Can those muscles do what they are meant to do and what should happen when you breathe? And if you're having bladder issues, bowel problems, pain with intercourse, anything that is telling us there's a red flag of something not functioning properly, most likely those muscles are not working the right way and they're either shortened and you don't need to do work on a lot of strengthening. Instead, we give you things like yoga poses, breathing, uh, techniques to teach your brain how to actually let them go. We have to trick your brain in a way because your conscious brain doesn't understand when your body is in that tightened, heightened stage through your nervous system. So there is a whole nother way of training it and treating it if you're going to the right pelvic therapist that is gonna teach your body and relearn how to do certain things. And oftentimes this does not even take that long. I think another misconception is when people go see a physical therapist that they have to go for weeks or months on and on. Oftentimes we get great results with clients in as little as eight to 12 sessions. They're seeing a huge change in their body and they're seeing a lot of progress from there because we are training your brain how to connect to your muscles again, which can happen rather quickly. Strengthening can take a matter of six to eight weeks over time, so a little bit longer. But I think it's important to know there are holistic options for treating a bladder problem. And when it truly is nothing else going on that you've been screened by your doctor, that nothing is compressing against your bladder, or you're not having any other medical issue, it's often misdiagnosed and it needs to be addressed by a pelvic floor therapist to train the muscles how to, and train the brain, how to control your bladder issues so it doesn't become an annoyance and stop you from doing the things that you want in life. So I just wanted to explain a little bit about the misconception and the myth that pelvic floor therapy is all about just 
contracting and doing Kegel exercises or putting some device on you and having you squeeze all the time. That is not the case. In our center, we actually use Pilates as well as a way to train your core muscles, get your pelvic muscles working the right way properly and work a lot on posture and breathing, which has a huge carryover into your daily life and helping your bladder problem stay in a normal state and not have this frequency and urgency and leaking. So I hope you learned something from this. You can go back to my other videos that ha talk a lot about exercises that you can do for your bladder control and how to address this in a more natural way. So if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when we put out new videos all about other women's health topics. Thank you so much for watching.